This is one of the lesson from my course creative layouts for web and mobile apps. And if you want to watch the whole three hour course, you can find the links in the description below of this video. Now let's go ahead and watch this video lesson now. This is another mistake a lot of designers actually make. And that is without your content first, you cannot design a layout. You cannot define where different elements are going to go, how they are going to go on top of each other or side by side or things like that. You cannot decide the layout if you don't have your content. So you cannot decide how many blocks of content you have. For example, we have one heading, one subheading, then we have few images uh, in the header. So we have like six or seven elements in our header. So these are the questions, these are the things you have to have before starting any layout design. So if you have like three items, you can have, you can arrange them uh, in three uh, parallel boxes. You can have one box a bit bigger and two boxes on the side, right side. So there are possible arrangements which are going to be decided by the number of elements you have. So get the content from your CEO, from the business or the, your client you are designing for or whoever is going to write that content. Now content doesn't mean just the text and the images. You ha might have videos, you might have illustrations, you might have icons. So try to gather all these different things before you are going to start your design. You are going to ask your client, send them emails, that I need these kind of images. I don't need, uh, I don't want these low quality images or things like that. You also need to uh, get icons that are related to similar theme of your images or your text. So gather all the data and ask your client that give, send me all these images, the content, the text, so I can start working on my layout or design. Now let me show you a few examples that how different content is going to shape your designs. So let me, sh let's see some examples. Now here are a few example websites. First is CSS Tricks. It is a content heavy website for web developers. Although they are, they are using a lot of great colors, good layout, very different and unique website, but still it is a content heavy website. We have a lot of text over here. You can see, then we have different articles over here. You can see over here. And uh, again, we have few articles at, in this direction. And uh, if we open up uh, an article, for example, this one, so you are going to see that everything is laid out for better reading. So we have uh, easier to navigate, easier to read, uh, easier to digest in different sections you can see over here. So this is actually the purpose of this website. Now, if we move on to the next content heavy website, which is BBC English, bbc.com. And you can see we have news, uh, we have uh, top news over here. Then we have over here, a few news with some text and images. So it is basically heavy with text and images. So you can see this is actually another example of a content heavy website. We have a lot of content. Now let's move to this one. This is Boulevard Club dot ch and you can see over here uh, it is not a very content heavy website so if we go down you can see we have a very creative layouts um, uh, text is moved a bit on the right and you can see these uh, simple animations and if we move down you can see we have fewer images fewer lines of text you can see over here one paragraph one heading that's it so this is the end so this is actually not a content heavy website. It is based on some service, simple service or one or two services and very simple and unique website. If we move to the next example, which is Fitbit, uh, this is a Fitbit Versa light edition website. And you can see this is actually focused on a single product. So we have very big, large product image with big uh, product title and a shop now button. So again, we have some features over here with a, with a background image. Then again, we have some image and some text over here. Um, then we have again, 
something new and you can see over here we have very few lines of text because we are focusing on a product so you can see this is building the product products image in users head so they are showing very powerful images uh, you can see here they have their app screenshots and then we have different um, over here different features again we have some features on the left and on the right we have images changing with the features so you can see something like that then again you can see an image uh, model wearing this watch and few text and lines over here so you got the idea that it is not a content heavy website it is actually related to um, a single product and focusing on a single product now let's see another one okay so here we have some i think design company or some uh, design agency interior design i guess and you can see they have created a simple but unique layout they have like three columns one two and three so on the left they have few menus and uh, text in the middle they have image on the right they have uh, some other meetups or things like that uh, project information so again we have very few text because uh, here their work is going to show what they actually can do so you can see over here nice images of this office design this is actually interior design website and you can see next project so this is actually focusing on a single service so you have now understood what i actually meant by having the content first so if you have all the content for example you know that in the first screen for example this one over here uh, if you have all the these uh, text these features you you already know that you have five features then you are going to show them in this uh, in this way if you have like four features you might have them shown in four different boxes on top of each other so uh, let me show you so li like you can see over here here they have three features so rather than showing them horizontally they uh, took the vertical direction so this is another option uh, with the layout so content is actually going to define your layout how much complex content you have how many uh, columns you are going to make uh, whether you are going to show them in 50 50 column or you are going to have some other layout so i hope you have understood the idea of this uh, content having content before starting any layout design so don't they make this mistake i am giving you a sincere advice let's move on to the next lesson